Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. Thank you very much. You may take your seats please. Please do take your seats to my current party. Um, let me recognize the host chief, Chief Schmense. Let me recognize the chairman of the House of Chiefs, Chief Chisunga. And also recognize all the traditional leaders that are here. You who look after us in all the parts of Zambia because everybody comes from the chief girl. even those that live in town at some point your genetic material came from the chief girl in this country so we recognize you all of you and we're grateful that you are here in a big number to support this project, what we're doing. Let me recognize the Minister of Local Government because he's the sector minister for what we are doing here today. But also his other colleagues, all of them, but also the provincial minister. Yes, Mutoy, thank you for settling in and accepting to serve our people in this hour of your progress. I must also recognize the Correctional Services leadership, other leaders of our men and women in uniform. I must recognize civil servants, public officers that are here, but also the community around here. I can see them there. Rami Monoko, Barishanuko, Muriwino, and Nitangwai. We also want to acknowledge the media. Let me acknowledge what has been said by the colleagues that have spoken over why we are here. But before I go further, I wish to recognize the Honorable Member of Parliament for Bahati constituents. Thank you for being present and the councillors because this is the way to be. We go to elections under our constitutional democracy every five years. And citizens elect councillors, council chairpersons, they elect MPs, they elect mayors, they elect the president. And we accept the decision of the people through our democratic process. But once the elections are over, I call upon all the elected officials, including district commissioners, permanent secretaries, everybody. During that five-year period after elections, our job is to deliver for the people's act, is to work together, to do that which the people of Zambia wish done to improve their lives. Yet, uh, 
Then, after five years, we'll meet again. And the people will decide. The message I'm delivering here, Member Parliament, is to thank you so much for being here. You're not a UPND Member of Parliament, but you so pretend you serve this constituency and we serve together as the people of Zambia decided. That is the way it should be to work and deliver in all aspects together. Very much. Let me now move on to simply add on to what my colleagues have said, that this country has been talking about decentralization since independence, but not much has been done over the years. Therefore, this UPND New Dawn government has decided to actualize, to implement the decentralization program. Taking resources away from Lusaka, because in the years before, all the resources were decided in terms of how they were spent from Lusaka. The people of Lusaka, we who live in Lusaka, are not the wisest citizens of Zambia. The people in the constituencies are wise as well. People in the chief rooms are wise as well. After all, they are the ones who produce those in Lusaka. Other than the indigenous people of Lusaka, the solid people, plenty people. So this is what this government has decided to do. To take a big chunk of money, resources, from Lusaka into the local areas, into the constituents, the chiefdoms, into the districts. And there, the local people decide what is priority for them, such as the schools we are building, such as the health centers we are building, such as the water reticulation. I must say, Minister of Local Government, when we sat at uh, Chief Chimense's house, there was mention of feeder roads. We expect the feeder roads to be a responsibility and a decision of the local people, including the councillors, the member of parliament, the mayor for council chairperson for that district. The capacity has been provided now. A lot of constituencies have bought road making, road maintenance equipment. We expect these constituencies here in Wakula to do the same. And this is So that that local capacity to maintain feeder roads is present everywhere. And no one has to wait for Lusaka to decide which road Peter Road is done. Thank you. Those decisions will come from here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. The difference is now this government has put money on the table, has made money available. So that Mr. Peter can get contracts here to maintain roads working with the council, working with the constituents. So, Honorable Member of Parliament for Bahati, we encourage you to continue working with the local government minister and the councils, council here, to capacitate yourself to do feeder roads here in Bahati. Thank you, buddy. And in other constituencies. Thank you, buddy. I want to make that point, Your Royal Highnesses, because We want to work with you to push for these decisions to be made. The Constituent Development Fund is meant to achieve a larger portion of decentralization so that your priorities will be implemented in accordance with the local area, each of our local areas. Then it will be no longer the way to centralization. It will be the weight and the action together. 
There is no reason that a school should have no water. No go. Go can be put there, turn, 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 solar, and we will flush toilets. Our ambition is to have flush toilets, reticulated toilets, sanitation in all parts of Zambia during our leadership. Unless someone does not want to work in that area, the money is there. No be economy. So if you see there is no water at a school, talk to the local leaders. district Why? Why? Now, traditional leaders, let's work together and make sure that these services are available. We won't get a chat at one point. We don't compete with traditional leaders. We work with you. We support you to support the population. Avant to end. Fuego. Avant to end. I hope I'm delivering a message here that once we do that, then there will be local accountability. We will also be training these young people under CDF, planning, carpentry, metal workshop, so that all the work that's required to be done in the local areas is done by our young people. Mr. Bye. Big roads, yes. Big bridges, yes. They will continue to be done by the central government. But the rest will not be in. I should have recognized the Zambian ambassador to Australia, Dr. Musha. He is the ambassador of Zambia appointed by this government, by this fellow talking, to represent us in Australia. And he is the son of Wakula province. We are very proud that Wakula gave us an ambassador to one of the most important embassies in the world. I was chatting with him, they are saying, they were my investment boy. Lebomba, Lebomesha, Australia. He's on leave now. Let me come back to why we're here. Decentralization. Making the conditions of the chiefs better. The palace here, I can see it being marked here. I thought this is the one. In addition to the chief's palace, chief's medicine, you will have two houses for retainers around. You will have a meeting room, your office, around here. There will be an office for chiefness. So that you can work properly in the office to administer. To administer. Yeah. Yeah. As the Minister of Local Government was saying, before 2021 August, every time I came here, we would reach Kuponoka. Every time. I'm going to let you push up. 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 So that our people are not mad. The point I'm making, this is my home. This is my home. I admire the soil here. I admire Amish. I admire Fiani. That we are going to be a good policies, hard work, 
And I mean hard work will go change Bahati working with our member of parliament. Pastors. We will change Master, we will change Wakula, we will change Zambia. It's in our hands. Alright, that's all right for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you, peace. I gotta go.